is Fino Payments Bank. Now, they saw a sequentially weak quarter, but if you look at it on a year-over-year -year basis, then the profit after tax almost has, uh, you know, doubled. So, that has been good if you look at it on a yearly basis, but sequentially, it was definitely a bit weak. To discuss more on the numbers, we are now joined by the management. Rishi Gupta joins us. He's MD and CEO of Fino Payments Bank. Mr. Gupta, thank you very much for joining us today. This is Pavitra. I will get to the earnings, but first, we have to talk about, you know, the news that came through on Friday about the small finance bank. So, tell us a little bit about that. What are the timelines also looking like? And then we'll talk numbers. Good morning, uh, Pavitra. See, Fino is a payments bank. In payments bank, uh, there are uh, you cannot lend on that uh, on that basis. So Fino, with an upgradation to uh, small finance bank, subject to the RBI approval, plans to apply to RBI over the next uh, uh, course of time. What we need to do, look at Fino as a SFB is a very different from the traditional SFBs which are there. For us, it is enhancement of lessons uh, from a payments bank. We'll be a payments bank plus plus uh, model, which means that we can look at liabilities, a higher amount than 2 lakh, and we can also look at lending to our known customers. These are customers, we have 82 lakh plus customers, we have 14 lakh plus merchants. So and the known customers will be our first focus as a SFB. We have been always following an asset light approach, which means that we largely work through merchant ecosystem. We have distribution across the country covering 95% of the districts. So we will continue to focus on building up an asset light uh, and data based uh, kind of a lending. In the in our projections also, we are looking at lending becoming only 20%, 20-25% of the total business over the next five years uh, compared to uh, what currently we are. So it is it's largely going to continue as a transaction based services uh, small finance bank. One of the big advantage we have, we have been able to raise liabilities at a fairly low cost. So that is an advantage. We'll continue to be in our SFB of that. And this will also give us an opportunity to focus more on the payments side, on the B2B as well as on the B2C side. So for us, SFB transition will be a completely different uh, kind of SFB, which we will be uh, building over the next uh, three to five years, subject to all the regulatory approvals in place. Mm. Uh, sir, you've also formed a committee to explore the possibility of group corporate restructuring. Could you explain what is, uh, you know, what's on your mind? So right now we have a holding company which is Fino Paytech and Fino Paytech owns 75% of uh, Fino Payments Bank. Uh, there have been cases where uh, the holding company and the uh, subsidiary has reverse merged into the bank. Uh, we will be looking at that option and maybe if there are any other options to bring out the maximum benefits from the group and uh, that is uh, something which we'll be also looking at over the next three to six months as we go forward in our journey. Okay, so restructuring over three to six months uh, and Rishi, uh, I miss that. You Have you already applied for the uh, small finance bank license or will you be doing that so we now? Got, yeah, we'll be doing it in the course of time. We got the board approval. So now we okay. have the board approval. We'll filling up the application and submitting it to RBI soon. Okay, and typically, I mean, uh, in your own assessment, as you've, you've seen this market before, uh, if all goes well and if the RBI, uh, you know, uh, sees merit in your application, then we're expecting what? Approval in a, in a year, year and a half? Would that be a reasonable timeline? Yeah, so the, normally what happens, you apply to RBI. RBI may take six to nine months uh, for an approval process. Sub after that, they give a 12 to 18 months transition process. So you can look at anything between 20 to 24 months from now uh, till you get converted, subject to obviously getting the approval from the regulators and getting the entire thing together over the next uh, 18 months uh, after the approval. Okay. Um, could you also give us an indication about your FI26 plans? You know, when we last chatted, you indicated that the company wants to achieve pack margins of 10% and expand its customer base to 20 million by FI26. Are these on track or do you think you will be yeah. able to achieve it? Go ahead. Yeah, we are on track. Actually, uh, we, we our internal target is to grow at 20% plus on year on year basis. This quarter also we grew at about 21%. Our fat margin was about 5.4% uh, in this quarter, which is up from 3.5% of last year. So we are on track and uh, as we get into more businesses and as we get closer to the SFB and sub subsequently the SFB comes into play in 26 and onwards, we are expected to reach a 10% uh, PAT margin. That's the plan and that's what we are working on. 
Okay, uh, got that. That is on the PAT uh, margin plan. What about the customer base? Because earlier you'd indicated that by FI26, it should be at 20 million. Can you give us a little bit of a closer target? What should we expect in FI24? So we, uh, we were at about 75 lakh uh, customers as of March 23. We had about 30 <laughs> to 35 lakh uh, customers every year. So if we add uh, 35 to 40 lakhs in the next two, three years, three years, we should be closer to two crore customer. Uh, that's the plan. That's the target which we are working on. And we are on track to achieve that target. Okay. Can you uh, give us a sense in terms of, uh, you know, the way the spends are shaping up? Uh, what is the sustainable run rate? Uh, as, as I see credit cards, I mean, there the spends have come down quite dramatically year on year. They've improved sequentially. But just generally, what's the expectation that you have uh, on the spend so, side? So on the, uh, you're talking about uh, operating expense or you're talking about customer spends? Customer spends. So customer spends, if I look at uh, from a debit card perspective, we don't link, look into credit cards. Uh, so debit card spends have gone up 45% if I look at a year on year basis. And it has sequentially, it has also gone up by 8% on per customer transaction. So it is crossed 3200 rupees on an average spend now. So as, as the growth in the economy is happening also because of the inflation, we are seeing an increase in the spend uh, per transaction. So uh, there is no uh, drop in the customer spend uh, per se. Uh, Rishi, we leave the conversation here. Thank you very much for joining in. That's Fino Payments Bank. Get into a break. On the other side, we...